It's speed back. Gaming. Come back. We are now at war with Germany. Boom. This should be a complete cakewalk. Are they going to just declare war on us? Let's hope so. Boom. And you guys, are you going to move? In fact, yeah, just go. Just go. Just... And move our air force to here. Go. Their planes only a handful, so we'll keep those in reserve just for losses. Oh my god, I can't get hold of these tanks. What the hell is this all about? Little dinky things. What are these? Why aren't you guys moving? Please go. Go, go, go. Oh, there we go. Movement. Nice. The fact that we were all on the front lines too and we're not grabbing land. Come on, there's a problem with that, right? There we go. Boom. Go. The referendum, it... it Succeed, become the owner of. <laughs> That's kind of given us this weird advantage that we never even planned. I guess we should have waited for the referendum then. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, that was pretty cool. And the pierce the tank. Yes, they can. We need to work on more, more heavily armoured tanks right now, because right now they're not very well heavily armoured, if you've not already gathered. Alright, so we need to secure the eastern front, then we can start pushing into the Germans. We've just secured Danzig and East Prussia too. Oh, I'm so proud. You guys doing some good handiwork? You're not getting a lot of XP though. Oh, they want to join our volunteers. You know what? Come on in. Everyone's invited. Alright, okay, so let's get rid... We don't need as much steel. We need the oil, but we need to get oil from the right people. Is it, can we get it from Russia? Get a little bit of oil from Russia, not all of it though. What's going on here? How can we not break in this? Oh, it's making me a bit nervous, this. I think I might have to move my planes up. I think I'm going to have to. There we go. Western Poland's been regained. We have gained a call on peace. I don't know why you guys haven't moved. We are actually effectively pushing into them too. Damn, boys, I'm proud. We're shooting down their planes. Nope. Russia's declared war on Azerbaijan. At the end of the duchy, we have regained Brezsek. Oh, this one. Okay. I guess that was formerly part of the empire, so that's the reason why it's. Uh, and given to us for free. Russia got into Azerbaijan, yeah? Nope, when they do, I want the oil, boys. That sweet oil. Uh, okay, so this guy's here, this guy's here, this guy's here. I'm gonna draw the front line for you again and go here. There we go. Everyone get into position. Stop attacking. Actually, this guy needs to stop, keep attacking. Go here. Good. Perfect. And we've got the tanks too. Perfect. Having a bit of trouble with oil, as usual. I'm gonna grab all these cities. If we can grab them all, it's over. I wonder when France is gonna join. Mm, it's so weird how we're pushing. Oh, look at this. See the outline here. We've gobbled all of this up. It was so easy. Uh, do I want to upgrade this tank yet, or do I kind of keep producing it? I'm not certain, because I am on concentrated... I'm on concentrated industry, so I'm a bit nervous. Man, the Baltics, they're actually uh, putting up more of a fight than I thought they would. We're going to smash through Belarus next, and then we'll go into Ukraine, and they're the, the tougher one to the east. And then we can uh, turn on Germany. And then... The only one left is Russia. I think some of these, rightfully, are Polish Lithuanian at some point, aren't they? Maybe? Actually, maybe maybe not. I don't think they actually held any of modern-day Russia, did they? I'm not certain about that, guys. Comment below. Uh, 
Panzer leader around the corner. Supply problems. Lots of them. Oh, actually, there was for a blink second. I feel like supply problems sometimes spring up and they just instantly disappear. And there goes Baltic. We got some doggos too, so that made it all worth it, guys. Just for the doggos. Alright, let's go five speed. Pump them out. Russia's declared war on Georgia. Mobilization, land doctrine, extra. Motorized or mechanized? Yeah, sure. We'll be able to get the first mechanized, which gives extra hardness to our motorized, so that's good. Have to get rid of these boys in the north, because otherwise they're just going to cause problems. I can't believe we're still pushing Germany. What is happening? That's one thing I've noticed that if they're not if they're on the border of someone else, they don't get the encirclement penalty. You have to get completely wrapped around them. That's kind of a bit poop. We don't have air superiority. There's 300 fires, that's why. We don't have any excess, so we're gonna have to put it with the the red air. Mm, go for the new light tank. Light tanks are pretty convenient late games, particularly if you're a nation that doesn't have a lot of uh, industry. The lack of tungsten is a little bit annoying. Oh my god, is there literally nobody here? There isn't. Oh god. Free real estate, boys. Alright, you go here. You go here. And you go here. Thank boys. I want you to smash. Yeah. Bit of supply problems. Probably should go for repair continuous focus, but I don't think we're going to need to. I actually can't believe this. What the hell has happened to Germany? Is it just because they didn't have all the divisions in position? Maybe that's the problem. The only thing I can, th the only thing I can think of. That Russia's going crazy though. Russia is going to be the final boss, no doubt about it. Russia is going to be pretty strong at the end of the game. You know, I actually really enjoy this. I imagine I'm going to get a lot of heated comments about me cheating on this. But I actually kind of just like playing Hoi 4, not really giving a damn, and just kind of chilling and playing a game, you know. I think sometimes uh, if you take it too seriously, I feel like you take some of the enjoyment out of it. Mm, Russia... Give me that planning bonus, then we're just gonna smoosh their front lines. That green air, and off we go. Bit of trouble in the center here, there's only one tank. But luckily, they're not being pierced anymore, which is good news. So, can we get some steel from. Who's nearby? Romania? Mania. And we didn't lose any convoys, so that means it is a land border. Good. And a national populace, too. There are brethren, our buddies, hopefully. They're going to collapse. Nope, not yet. Belgium and the Polish Lithuanian has white peace, and so is Germany. Okay, this is the event where they get exiled, isn't it? It is, yeah, that's what's happened. But they have jumped ship right now. Now we've got another opportunity to conquer. Oh! So we just instantly piece it all out. Okay, brilliant. The Czechs have got four score? And I imagine Ukraine on its own is probably a major, right? Maybe? We'll find out. Is 
this going to be... Oh, at the moment we have to choose the fate of Germany. So we can like separate them and divide them. Or we form like a uni German union. I think we should do a big strong unified Germany. I don't like creating too many puppets. Oh, what? We should have technically have got this. No way. Oh, that's sad. That's going to be unhappy, that. I can't believe that. What the hell? Technically, if he are uh, clay, that, isn't it? This is mine. Uh, oh, well. Go, no. Yeah. Good. Patch those onto my spearhead. What else have we got? The fell fate of Belarus, the Baltic region. Liberate them or occupation. I'm gonna do. And you know what, Belarus, you're part of me. And southern Polonia. Yeah. Return it to Belgium. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Mobile infantry. Motorize of mechanized models. Wait for this to finish, then we'll go for the next mech. Alright, boy, go, go, go. We moving? Yep. At this point, they should get absolutely wrecked. This point as well, Rush is probably going to turn on us too. Wait for that tank to finish and we'll make a modified version. Yeah, and then here. Yeah. I'm this one as well. But most of the divisions are actually in that little pocket in the south. Yeah, 10, 15 divisions, they're already dead. I thought these would auto automatically change, but they don't, do they? Oh, I'm actually good on motorized too, wow. We must have got a lot from Germany. Just kind of makes sense, I suppose. Oh, come on, they're going to capitulate now. Curious to see what it's going to have me divide this up. Liberate a friendly Ukraine. You know what? I don't think so. Alright, so the only la less land to try and occupy now is the Russians. 48 of those boys. Yeah. Organization of Ukrainian Nationalists. After we conquer Ukraine, the Radicals have set up an organization of Ukrainian nationalists with the principal aim of armed rebellion against us, lose mass amounts of stability. Those events are really a kick in the teeth because it's like, you can't do anything to actually avoid them and avert them, so it's like you just got to take it. Take it. Also, we got more fighters. What else have we got? We even got bombers as well. Might as well use them all. Ass. Naval bombers. Some. We've got all the planes that would have been German. All right, go here, and at this point we make a fallback line. Just put everyone here for now. Good. Supply problems. 
There we go. Um. The fifty percent boost. What the hell is that? Is that mechanized? That looks more like mechanized. That one too. We need the extra research slot, so we're gonna have to. Uh, where is it? Where's the focus tree? Yeah, we're gonna have to go for the new army designs. All right. I'm curious to see what's gonna happen here with the French. You know, are they gonna still gonna play a war on Germany at some point? And they've got a generic focus tree too. Have a look at all our puppets. Got so many. Occupied puppet. And a puppet. So a puppet's actually a higher tier than an occupied puppet. Okay. Alright, let's go. Just a long way away, that isn't it? So many days. I'm not sure if I should do that. Other than there's an extra search slot here, but I need both. I bet requires one of the following. Oh, okay, that's good. So we, we were really not too far away from uh, an extra search slot, which is what we need right now. I'm just curious to see if there's any events pop up about integrating Russian land towards the Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. I have a feeling there probably isn't because it's too far east. But we could make a, an artificially big Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth. I wonder if you like leave one tile unoccupied, whether you still get the event for the, to restore the lands. I'm always, I'm kind of curious. Okay, production's good. We just need to keep pumping out tanks. And we need to get some more up-to-date models. That's what we need. Oh yeah, most of these are German German trucks. Ooh, we've got a lot of uh, more very light tanks though, which is good. For you boys. Got you both, split you in half. Here. Here. This is the final frontier. I think we could wrap this one up now, actually. Exercise you just a little bit, then we can launch our attack. I think what we should to be do to begin with is just lock down Novograd and Petrograd. Feeling we might have supply problems in the north now. You got promoted yet? Nope. What's an organizer? You guys are in position, that's good. Elastic defense is so spicy due to its reinforce rate, so that's going to be essential. Stability still sucks. Go attached on to you. Go here, go here. Best to kind of give them the orders in advance. And then assign them onto the the tank army. I've noticed it just seems like the AI just seems to behave a little bit better under those circumstances. How much cast have I got? We'll make another four fifty stacks. Is that enough? Yeah. Bombers, strategic bombers. Okay, the rest of it's trash. Good. More civvies. This. You know what? We're such a. We're such a. We're so good. We're such good people. We're gonna give that back. There you go. Have Nancy back. 
Any other returns? Return territory to the Union, Ponzan. No, that's a core! Return Ponzan to the government in exile. No. Why do you have the ability to return it if it's your core? That's weird. That usually isn't an option, is it? Isn't this usually given back to Poland, too? Guess not. How many of these can we make? 18 of them. Let's do it. Lacking light tanks. Cool. Like Norway is going uh, socialist. Sweden's acting a bit weird too. Alright. We good to go? I think we're as good as we're ever going to be. I'll wait for these to deploy, these weaker divisions, and then we'll spawn them and go from there. And also we can wait for this light tank as well. Yeah, that's a good point. We'll go wait for the light tank. Oh, and Russia's fighting Mongolia. <laughs> this is the perfect time. I can't turn this down. I can't turn this down. We're doing it now, boys. This is just the perfect opportunity. I can't say no to it. It's just too good. Let's go. Go, go, go. Oh, look at all those red lines. So, I guess that admit, right now you're probably thinking, man, Dave, you've accomplished so much, even with the cheats. Nah, that's not true. Because uh, what I'm doing right now is I use an OCB cheat, and because the AI isn't prepared for me to attack them, that's why there's no troops on their borders. That's why I'm completely swallowing them right now. <laughs> uh, it's fun, though. It's fun, right? Come on, who can? Who in the comments is going to tell me right now you've never done something like this before, right? Come on. We met a single division yet? Oh, here we go. First division. Who is going to admit that they've never done anything like this before? If you do, you're a liar. Filthy liar. They're probably pulling troops from the east now to try and uh, stop me flooding into them. Alright, we'll get you guys in the center now. Eat up those ones in the center too. How many divisions do they have? They have a lot of division 265. Not exactly like they're weak, but... The divisions are probably all not in position and they've got no entrenchment as well, so they're in a, probably in a bad way. I wonder if they could capitulate. No. No, they won't. This is considered a capital. Ten victory points. I don't think they have a lot, do they? Because you usually have to rely on Vladivostok to capitulate them, but as it stands right now, I don't need it. But they don't have it. Part of another nation. Here they go. All the divisions are arriving now. With barely no organization because they were railroading. <gasps> Alright. Repairs, boys. We should do the ones on the bottom first, shouldn't we? Oh no, they're all applicable. Never mind. Don't need the oil anymore? Oh, we're getting all this oil now, okay. We're not gonna get this tank finished, are we? <laughs> Never mind, the game's gonna be already over. I must admit, I've reached the point now in Kaiserite where the game goes extremely slow. Is this considered an encirclement? Yeah, it is, yeah. I wanted to make sure. I wonder if we can do like a cheeky maneuver here. Yeah, there we 
we go. That's what I was aiming for. Oh no. Flashbacks of Stalingrad in an alternative reality. Yeah, we need to... When we finish this uh, innovation tech, we need to go for... Uh, Oh, just exquisite. Nice. And that should fix this, shouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, look at this. Supply just melting away. I love it. He's our expert, indeed. Well, that's fixed all the supply problems. Or well, mostly, anyway. There's a... Only because we've got a little... Tiny little bit of land in the state. That's the reason why the supply issues are there. Oh, I didn't actually deploy these divisions, did I? Oh, actually, I've deployed too many. Oops. There we go. We'll have less issues with supply now. You guys not moving over? Come on, boy. Get over there. I bet they're going to cause supply problems. That's why they're reluctant to move. That's my guess, anyway. Uh, this guy reduces supply consumption. Can we get another supply consumption guy? No. This is one new thing that's in Kaiser. You have the ability to spend your XP as well as political power and command power on the um, like ways of speeding up your naval tech. So you have a, you have an ability to like catch up with the rest of the world on naval tech, which I think is really cool. Yeah, let's get these casualties. That's the southern war here. Where's Russian flag? Where's the flag? Am I going mad? Germany and Japan. That's the American Civil War. Am I not even in the list? Oh, have I broken the game with the no CB thing where it doesn't even appear in the list? I think I have. <laughs> okay. I have broken the game. Go, go, go. Put you guys in the south and push north. <laughs> yeah, we're causing supply problems due to the amount of tanks. I'll take a, a four of these off. So that way we can free up some supply as well as reduce supply. Free up equipment and reduce supply. Field Marshal's not promoted one shirt. I'm trying to think if this guy's even the right guy. You know what, you're right. This guy isn't the right guy. Hire someone new. Infantry leader. You know what? Hang on, what? No, 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 it was a general I hired. What the fuck? What the fuck? Um... Him. 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 A field marshal built for tank warfare. My kind of guy. Alright, now we need to go for the repair focus. Need to shift as much repairs to the top as possible. Ideally infrastructure, not really factories. Oh my god, so many shit's broken. Alright, we can upgrade the light tank now. More armor for the light tank is required, and boom, pump them out. This, this. Right now, loads of steel, we'll get that from our German puppet state. Alright, we're good. Russia, how you doing, bro? Not too good. I don't think they've got any troops there, have they? Mm, they're not doing too bad. This front line hasn't moved in a very long time. 
Yeah, I've not had a single event pop up regarding Russia. It's so weird how their national focus has the ability to declare war on the Russians. The political turmoil in Russia has made for a violent and unpredicted neighbor. It's only a matter of time before the vile expansionist Russia state turns its eyes upon us. You must strike first. So this is just a counter attack. It isn't necessary to reclaim old lands, is it? This one's only about regaining old lands. Okay, I assume this would be linked towards events that allows it to uh, expand, but I guess not. Perfect. Seen that as the Russian capital before. That's a new one. All right, that's it. They're beaten and bruised now. How many divisions have they got? 116. They've lost 200 divisions. That's insane. Oh no, this is the bat. This is the one, isn't it? Is it? No, it's not. Oh, maybe it is. No, it is. It is. It is. 1.85 mil. Oh damn. Um, go here. Yeah. Yeah. South. Yeah, go here. And. Ah! Uh, So, at this point, I guess it's just a matter of creating a a border of a possible ahistorical Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. And I think I'll create one that is, like, across this river, maybe. Right? Does that sound like a good idea? I like that idea. What do you think, boys? You know, it looks good. I could have kind of make it west of the Urals, couldn't I? You know what, actually, that feels like a better idea. Pretty borders, boy. What do you think? It looks good? Perfect. We'll let Mongolia take the scraps. The Russia's still... Oh my god, look at this Mongolia. <laughs> I love it. So there's no event right now. Oh no, there is. Liberate Georgia, Azerbaijan, and the Don Cuban Union. Oop. <laughs> and there we go. That is the finished result. That is peak performance. You may not agree. This is what it fucking is. Beautiful, right? Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I know, I cheated to get this result, but I had a lot of fun playing this campaign, and sometimes I like to load up Hoi 4 and just dick around, and sometimes I felt less to myself, maybe one, some of you guys would like to see me dick around just playing around with Hoi 4, so I thought I'd load up the game and actually record it while I do it. So, it's up to you guys. Are you into this kind of stuff? Let me know in the comments. Apart from that, I hope you have an absolutely epic day, and I'll see you guys next time. See you later, boys. Bye-bye.